Hello YouTube. So today we're going to talk about strange dreams and why they happen for me. Now my, my theory is that you can't like necessarily control your dreams, but you can like, I don't know, your state of mind is very important obviously because it's in your head. And it's when you sleep, you're only thinking, and that's really it. Your inner cognitive gears are, you know, rolling around. But um, I remember, like, when I was younger, I was, like, I guess I was sort of, like, in love, you know, just with my life and with the people in my life. And I just had the best dreams. Like, I had the best dreams. And, like... I just kept thinking about things that only made me happy, you know? Things that only made me happy. Because if they don't make me happy, then that'll be a part of my state of mind in the day, which in turn will affect my state of mind at night. So what I did was to have the best dreams ever. and. Here's what I saw in these dreams when I when I was uh, controlling my thoughts and only thinking about things that made me happy. So here's what it was. It was like this. I was using my imagination to just make up stories in my head about why these things were happening or what was happening in other people's heads and just stuff like that. But it was working to change everything around me and how I felt during the day and just, you know, imagining how other people think for me and just making it cool and positive, even if it's not about me, just making it cool about like, you know, other people, how they feel about other people. It's the same thing. So, so yeah. Um, so here's what I saw in the dream. So I went to sleep being in love with my life. And um, I remember seeing like these very abstract like patterns like these. Like I think I was in this weird universe where there's like a bunch of patterns. And I think I was on a gondola ride with like these certain people that I was thinking about during the day that made me happy to think about them. So I just, you know, saw them in my dreams and in my dreams we're on a gondola ride and we were riding through this patternified city. Um, and it was just very weird. I'm not, I still don't know what that even means. Maybe it's like the interconnectiveness of our minds is so, so easily, you know, you're so able to be in tune with other people's minds that when you only think about things that they think about that make you happy, even if it's like, Here's what I was thinking about. I was thinking about this guy I had a crush on, and I was thinking about how he had a crush on his his other guy friend. I was thinking about that, and that made me happy because I thought it was hot. <laughs> okay? But I know that's really weird, but this is for manifestation purposes only, and I'm giving you this example because this is how I did it. <laughs> and that's simply all it is. So... I was thinking about how my crush had a crush on this guy, and I liked him too, so I was just like, oh, that's perfect, whatever. It sounds romantic, I like it. So, <laughs> like, literally, I just had, like, the best dreams, because it was only about things that made me happy, because I knew that my crush liked guys and girls, so I was just like, oh, well, that makes me happy, because he's hot, and he's he looks kind of like me, so I thought it was cool, you know, it was just like, okay whatever you know I was just like okay cool I don't know <laughs> is that dumb I don't know but literally that's what I, that's how it was like it was like I was them sort of <laughs> you know I was like I'm you you know 
that's how it was in my imagination. I was, I was pretending that I was that person. And, you know, it's very abstract, <laughs> but it was working. So, yeah. And the dreams mattered because my state of mind was so positive. It made my inner life even at night, when I'm asleep, positive. That means my whole life is like heaven, even when I'm asleep, which is the best. I still to this day have not had dreams like that. Actually, sometimes. Like, I do have good dreams once in a while, but most of the time they're just weird. Kind of like life. Life is just weird. I don't know why I was thinking about me having a shaved eyebrow but my eyebrow is not shaved I don't know I'm sorry I just saw my eyebrow I was like where is it <laughs> well, anyway um so yeah that's that's how I was I was pretending that I was the other person and I think that that might have something to do with why I was so connected to these people because I had a lot of synchronicities at that time, too. It was a very synchronistic, you know, flurry of events. And I really think that, um, sorry, I'm looking outside at the trees and the sun. That's all I'm doing. That's why I'm not looking at myself. I'm just trying to explain and looking at nature helps. So anyway, um, that's, that's what it was. And, um, yeah, and it was working, <laughs> which is why I was so freaked out. Uh, it was nice. <laughs> it was nice, you know, sure. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should pretend to be these people that I want to manifest now because I know how to do it. All you have to do is use your imagination and think about things that make you happy. Even if it's weird, like your your guy having a crush on his other guy friend, stuff like that. If it makes you happy, sure. It's better than being jealous when you already know it's happening, right? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. And that's it. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's literally it. And I, I just had the best dreams. I'm going to talk to you guys about some other dreams I had. So I had a few. Uh, one was when I was sleeping next to that guy that I said had a crush on the other guy. But I was, I have, I had this dream about the guy that he had a crush on. I had a dream about him. And I had a dream, I think I was the guy that I was with at the time, that I was him. And I was like bike riding with him, with the guy, you know, the other guy, as him, not as me, as him. And I was like, I don't know, it was just like a dream world. It was, but it felt real. That's why it's so weird. I don't know. And it's weird because at that time, I was so good at manifesting. Like, I was so good, and I saw so many synchronicities. You know? I saw so many synchronicities. <sighs> yeah. So, that's it. I just saw a lot of synchronicities. And, uh, synchronicities... I think... Here's my theory. Not necessarily that you're on the right path, because guess what, darling? You're on the path that you choose, which is always going to be the right path, because this is a path, the life that you choose. And that's the right path for you, because this is your life. It's your life. That's right. It's your life. And you're never on the wrong path, unless, you know, you know something bad is coming. Like, you know, like something bad for you. That's when it's not good. But that's also when you have the, the power to change your mind. 
and use your imagination to pretend that you are these other people and figure it out. It's just really weird. It's really weird. But whatever. I don't know. It's like, I want to manifest these certain things in my life. But I haven't been using my imagination in the way that I should be. So I think that's also why it's not happening. Is because I'm using it in a bad way. I'm imagining all the bad things. And why would I do that if I want to, you know, experience good things? Because I'm going to tell you guys what. The imagination is the ultimate experience. It's the ultimate experience throughout your daytime life and throughout your dream world life. It is the ultimate experience. So when you imagine bad things, you're experiencing that now, even though it's not happening. That's what you're experiencing. Okay? So what you need to do is just change your thoughts. I know it's hard sometimes, but you just got to change your thoughts. And everything will be okay. And that's literally it. Oh, I don't know. But yeah, I'm just playing with this. I don't know why. It's icy. I don't know why I'm playing with that. But, um, but yeah, I just thought it was really weird. I guess that's the end of this video. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I guess I'm just trying to say that in your head, you are other people. And I don't know if it's a telepathic ability, because I think that's it. I think that explains empathy. I think that explains why we can foresee the future and why we can think, oh, I want ice cream. And then your girlfriend brings you ice cream and you didn't have to ask. It's because um, telepathy. Yeah, like aliens. And also it explains why someone can be staring at you and you're walking and you're not even looking at them but you know it's telepathy you can feel it empathy and telepathy are the same that's my theory so what i gotta do to manifest what i want is use my imagination in a good way and have a good conversation with the people in my head and i know it sounds psycho <laughs> people in my head you always have people in your head, darling. You have people in your head, even if you're psycho or not, okay? Because guess what? We're all one. And that's it. So that's the end of this video, and I hope I didn't freak anybody out because I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> but uh, I have a headache, and I want to have good dreams, so what should I think about? God damn! God, help, please. But um, I guess that's up to me. So, uh, everyone have a good day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.